itong injury. Ito ang uh, ating Kinebra uh, San Miguel premium best play of the game as Rudy Hatfield gets it back. Rudy Hatfield or Kinebra San Miguel premium gin best play of the game. Have a good time with Kinebra San Miguel premium gin. Make yours a premium experience. Well, Ed, matagal-tagal na natin hindi nakikita si Dorian Peña on the floor, no? That's because Coach Otres is just matching up to what he never has on the floor. I think it's important that somebody's going to establish this in Tokyo. With a TM3, sa big sa'yo, TM ang pinalakas na Dutch Mobile as we go into the last two minutes. Ang ating outlast two minutes. At it's sa'yo ng outlast batteries. Wala nang iba. One clutch shot after another coming from Olsen oh, yes. Casella. Nakawala si JJ Helderman. Sante, Sante, Sante! Wala! Loose ball! Take that by Kagiwa. Teka, teka, teka. May loose ball ball. Teka, teka. Wala ho. Hindi ho kasi makakarinigan dito eh. Looks like a loose ball foul. It might be against San Miguel. Si Hontivero sa matatawagan. I thought there might have also been a second motion against Mamaril. Ang apat kay Don Don Hontiveros. Labang ang uh, Barangay Hinebra ng isa, 1989. Well, yun ang uh, handicap ng uh, San Miguel ngayon. No? They're playing with a small lineup. And uh, they're trying to out-rebound the big men of uh, Hinebra who all have a big advantage of getting those loose balls, especially when they have to go up high for the ball. Pero ba pa rin? Ay parang kanina, he missed two free throws. Ooh! Ayaw pa rin. One point lead by Hinebra. Ano yung naisip ko yung coach Tommy Gary, coach Chot Reyes? Well, uh, ang problema dito, momentum-wise, no? Uh, he has to choose now how how he's going to change the momentum in, in one minute and 45, no? It's going to be very difficult. Well, at this point, no, he can bring back Dorian Peña to oh. try to establish a new game time. Uy, <laughs> <laughs> pinanda na ni Billy Mamaril. Ang nalakasan ang gusto. Para Pero, sigurado. Bumanda. <laughs> Two-point lead for Barangay Hinebra, 91-89. A minute and 38 to go. Oh, this game is far from over. Oh, far, far from over. You say that again. That is single for a post. Bring it. Pinatuna Kagad. You don't know the Veras. Loose ball. Picked up by Danny El Deposo. He goes up. Wala. Sigo. Tips it in. And we're tied at 91. Deadlocked at 91 all with 1 minute and 21 seconds to go. Can this game be any closer? Oi, JJ Hilton Brand to bring it to life. Billy Mavaril, put out on the court to Don Don Tiberos. Yes, Don Don Tiberos. Pero tinamaan din si Danny El Deponso. Nako. Emotions are running high. Patapos na ang laro natin. Possibly patapos na rin ang ating serie. Danny El Deponso reacted to some physicality. Si Mavaril, now at the line. Kanina, he missed one. Yung pangalawang free throw niya, pinanda niya to make sure. Ano kaya ang gagawin ni uh, Billy ngayon? Ibabanta kaya niya? Two out of six from the free throw line in sa game. Ooh, still some free throw shooting close. Dominic, oy, may balita ba tayo kay Rudy Hatfield? Oo, oh, hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin tumitigil yung dugo dun sa ilong nitong si Rudy Hatfield. Ang nangyayari dun eh, he actually got the rebound at tumama siya sa tuhod ng isang uh, San Miguel Beerman. Pero sabi naman ng uh, doctor natin dito sa PBA, eh may sugat lang siya dun sa ilong. It's just a deep cut inside the nose. Uh, uh, that's a uh, bit of good news. Ano, ah? Dahil, uh, at least walang sinasabi broken uh, uh, nose. Ano? Uh, but uh, Rudy Hatfield still uh, cooling his heels sa Mantala. 92-91, Barangay Hinebra by one. We have a timeout. Mga kabigid, sa mga amigo na ito, dira sa Panay Island, kang sa Negros, eh, sadya naman kay... Uh, Amo ni, hampang naman ang uh, uh, Barangay Hinebra kag uh, San Miguel Beer. Game 6 at isa lang ang namang ng uh, Barangay Hinebra 92-91 nasa San Miguel ang bola. 1 minute and 6 seconds to go. Most teams in the penalty. Olsen Rosella down low to Danny Siegel. Siegel puts it up. Mahina. And the ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with San Miguel, says Referee Kalungkagin. So, Zone ng Hinebra doon na overload na libre si Danny Siegel. Oh. Ano? So, oh, Vincent, you know, nagugulat din San Miguel. Uh -huh. This very shifting uh, defense na pinapakita ng Barangay Hinebra. Uh, Pamalit-palit. Uh -huh. Very unpredictable eh. Don Don Otiveros gets it back to Danny Siegel. Siegel to Rodney Tugano! 
Okay, okay. two-point lead with Barangay Hinebra in the possession. On timeouts, marami pa, huh? San Miguel has two timeouts left, one full and one thirty. At oh. Barangay Hinebra, two full and two thirties. Ito, substitution. Now, Wesley Gonzalez has been set in for Don Don Tiveros by Coach Chot Reyes. Okay, he's another weapon. Also has been playing good defense against Kagiwa. Ito si Helter Brand. Helterbrand against Rosera. Binigay kay Sunday, Salvation! Yes! Ano yun? Dalawa lang, dalawa lang. Two points, two points. So, tabla tayo, tabla tayo. Sunday, Salvation has been on fire. Sunday, second half, he's got 18 points. But hindi ito si Sunday, Salvation, ano ha? At hindi lang yun, he's being set up. His teammates are looking for him. They're looking to execute. And Sunday is delivering. Ito, makikita natin. Talaga hinahanap ni J.J. Helterbrand eh, oh. Hinahanap niya si Sunday Salvacion. Kumahabol si Lordy Tugane. But he is a tad too late. As Sunday Salvacion scores his 18th point of the game. And deadlocks the count at 94 all. With a shade under 36 seconds remaining in the game. Coach Tommy, ano sa palagay mo ang gagawin naman ngayon ni Coach Chot Reyes? Well, he'll try to go to low post, I think, to get a foul. Ayaw niya ng outside shot, eh, no? Uh -huh. you, so you only have 35 uh, seconds left. You must take a good shot, you know? It's not an outside high percentage. High percentage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Question, ano, class in defense kaya? Ilalaro na Correct. Yun ang mangyari. So uh -huh. he must draw out two plays, no? One play if it's a zone, and then the other play if it's a man-to-man, -man, no? Yes. Ano ba yan? Makukuha na ba yan? Ang ganda ng trophy, oh. Ah, that's the Philippine Cup trophy. And drafted by Ramon Ordina. Oh, yung magaling na National artist National artist natin At uh, si Coach Chotre Sinasabi niya Huwag doon muna kahawakan yan Baka sa linggo pa natin Pagtuusan uh, yan Ayan ang mga lobo Na nakikita natin Up on top of the Raptors Ng Araneta Coliseum Game reset Pareho na sa penalty niyan Okay, San Miguel Beer Only with one full Timeout left Here we go Sa kanila ang bona Na sa front court Ng San Miguel We are tied At 94 Binigay kay Dondon Ontiveros. Nakabalik na pa natin si Dondon during the timeout. Ontiveros sabang kay Mark Pengiwa. Ontiveros, tuloy-tuloy! Pinabas kay Olsen Lasela. Pinas pa sa rin kay Dondon. Dondon Ontiveros goes up. Wala! Loose ball! Lordy Tugane! Wala! Loose ball na naman! Rebound Bravo! J.J. Hunterman! Oh! Outside! Kapo ng Kai Hinebra! Tawag ni referee Herrera. And Olsen Lasela is trying to... Ano yun? Tumawag ng timeout. Tumawag ng timeout. 16.9 seconds to go. Jose Grisela is trying to question the call. And, well, Rebre Herrera has made his decision. Better time timeout. Let's go back to ABC5. Oh, Coaching styles, you know, John Richico, very active, you can get assistant coach of the short tank in set. That's right. The advantage of them is they've been together for some time, plus the fact that Chot has actually coached this team, no? While uh, the takeover of uh, Chot Reyes, no, of San Miguel, you can see Chot has come from the style of uh, Tim Cohn, no? Which That's is right. really on his own, no? Uh, and the staff is just supporting, no? Uh, While the other one, they have actually two coaches doing the job. Oh, ito, merong uh, gagawing situation na substitution si Coach Chot Reyes, ano? Also, a little bit of controversy. Yung pagtawag ng time out ng J.J. Helderbrand, kinag-question ng San Miguel, that he was falling out of bounds. There is a rule that says, you cannot call a time out if you're falling out of bounds. You have to have good established possession of the ball bago ka pwede magtawag ng time out. But uh, the referee has made his decision. Yes. And it will stand. Ang sinasabi kong uh, substitution ni Coach Chot Reyes, Si Willie Wilson has not seen action in this wall game, I believe. Yes, he's in the middle. He's with si Wesley Gonzalez. Okay, uh, he's there for defensive purposes, uh, obviously. Go, Chico. 
Okay, that was pretty clear. They want to go for the last shot. 16.9 seconds. Ang nalalami sa larong ito mga kaibigan. We are deadlocked at 94 all. And hanging in the balance is whether we're going to have another game on Sunday or not. Pagka nakascore itong Barangay Hinebra at hindi na nakabalik itong uh, San Miguel Beer, tapos na po ang serye. Ibig sabihin, magwabagi na po ang Barangay Hinebra ng ating Philippine Cup Finals if they are able to score uh, in this last uh, few seconds of the ball game, not allow San Miguel Beer to get the ball possession once again. Uh, may 30 second timeout na tinawag yung Barangay Hinebra pa rin, di pa sila tapos shooters, yes. saka outside shooters no? so they will isolate I think uh, one player on top, I think it's uh, Heldebrand, no? that's all, what we heard ganina practically all small players all small on the floor players. wala nang wala 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 rebound ito oh. <laughs> <laughs> si Tubit tried to get a, a foul as usual <laughs> okay, okay, this could be the last play of the season 16.9 seconds to go Deadlocked at 94. Both teams in the penalty. Ito na. Inbound ni Sunday Salvacion. Binigay kay Ronald Tubid. Tubid. Kumaangat. Ginahanap si Mark Kagiwa. Kagiwa. 10 seconds to go. Helterbrand has it. Ito na si Helterbrand. One on one against Wilson. They foul. They foul. They foul. And they will send Helterbrand to the line with 2.9 seconds to go. 2.9 seconds to go. J.J. Helterbrand will be sent to the line. Willie Wilson, fresh off the bench, had not played a single second in this game. Coming in to play defense. See Danny Siegel, Pino Pumuna, and Coach Jot Reyes. They give a chance for his defensive combination on the floor, but they gave up the foul. Helterbrand is a 63.6% free throw shooter. 63.6%. 2.9 seconds to go, deadlocked at 94 in game six. First by Helterbrand, it's good! And Kagiwa goes over to kiss him. Was that, was that JJ's, uh, nakita mo ba yun? Hindi ko masyadong napansin eh. Ayun. Yun ang wife ni JJ, oh. si Charlotte. And she's very, very quiet. She's praying that JJ makes another free throw. Para makauwi na sila. <laughs> oh, celebrate. Nakabook na ang flight. 19 <laughs> points and 7 assists. Has not missed from the free throw lines again. 9 out of 9. And it makes 2. J.J. Helderbrand gives Barangay Hinebra a 2-point lead. With a shade under 3 seconds remaining in the game. We have a timeout. Not much uh, of uh, not too many options here para kay coach uh, Chot Reyes. Yeah, uh, the, the play of Chong Mojiko was simplistic. This one will have to have more options, no? Because oh. they don't have the time anymore, no? I don't think they're really going for a three, no? They're going for a quick two, either... Extend the ball game. Oh, they sustain the ball game. Oh. Unless they're forced to throw a three after the first option. 2.9 seconds to go. 2.9 seconds. Labang ang hinebra ng dalawa. San Miguel inbounding Olsen Rosera. A lot of three-point shooters on the floor, however. Oi, oi, oi. He needs to pass the ball. Ayo, si Lodi Tugani! Wala! Wala! Barangay Hinebra wins it! Barangay Hinebra wins it! In six games, after falling behind 0-2, and Barangay Hinebra wins four straight. Only the fifth team in PBA history to come back from a 0-2 deficit. At kahit dito sa game na ito, kini ito ay Tommy, ay... Uh, Very dramatic ending. Alam mo, partner, yung defense ang pinakita ng Hinebra, ang key doon, hindi yung last shot ni Tugade. The fact that Olsen Rosella had a difficult time inbounding the ball. Yes. That kind of defense of Barangay Hinebra spelled the difference. Kanya, nung nakahawak ng bola, si Lori Tugade deep in the far corner to take the three-point shot. Haras na sila eh. Oh, lahat ng options sila na wala eh, no? So yun lang ang nabuksan, which is the left side. They covered the pass to the middle, which is the better the better option. But I'd like to find out from uh, you too, no? Ha? 
uh, for most of the game, uh, San Miguel was leading. They led by as many as 16 points. How did Barangay Ginebra manage to come back? I thought a lot of it was because of their tough defense. You uh, know, full court press, created turnovers for them. That was your energy level, you know, was simply fantastic. Now, even at it, your energy level, the Pinigay, JJ, the Rudy Hatfield. Tapos, I thought that San Miguel was reacting oh. to a lot of the plays na Ginebra rather than San Miguel trying to establish yung kanilang game. Now, wala si Danny, Danny Siegel lang mal- ng a lot right. of minutes. No. Tapos si Dorian Peña, kalos hindi na naglaro ng second half. Ito yung last play, nung uh, 2.9 seconds to go. No? Lodi Tucani was able to put a shot, get a shot off, pero hindi pumaso. Coach Tommy, your assessment? Well, I think Chot Reyes thought he had the game won no? after the first half. Yeah. So that's why he was having the luxury of keeping Danny Siegel for a long time and allowed Hinebra to come back. No? But what happens when Hinebra comes back, the crowd comes into the play yeah. and uh, Helte Brand just took over the game again with Kagiwa seeking the crucial shot. But at the end of the day, it was the defense of Hinebra, the hustling defense of Hinebra that did not allow San Miguel to execute. No? That's right. And they got nila uh, in the early goings of that's the right. game. Yung, right. uh, kanilang low post play, ah. yung kanilang, kanilang inside game. Pagkatapos, bumalik nga itong barangay Hinebra. Yan po ang ating final score in the series and in the conference. 96-94, barangay Hinebra winning by the skin of their teeth. At syempre, habang uh, nanonood po kayo nung uh, just in a short while, uh, ay magkakaroon na po tayo ng mga awarding ceremonies. Mark Kagiwa, Ronald Tubid, nakita uh, po ninyo ang kaligayahan uh, sa makamukha ng uh, ating uh, mga Barangay Hinebra players at ng fans. Syempre, sigaw ng bayan at ng Reglicon 40 para sa Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings at San Miguel Bimen. Kaya niyo yan at kinaya nga po ng Barangay Hinebra to win four straight. Huh? Apat na sunod-sunod na ro. Johnny Abarietos and uh, Coach uh, Shot Tankinson there. At, uh, oh, this was also a great game. Quality minutes binigay ni uh, Johnny Abarientos para sa Barangay Hinebra tonight. Well, total team effort on the part of Barangay Hinebra, no? Getting the job done on defense, tapos in offense. Nakita natin sa first half. Kontrolado ng San Miguel yung tempo ng laro, no? They were playing slow down and deliberate.